Hey everybody, thank you for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at the Live Pour 160 by Yostatech. I picked this up over at healthcabin.net, www.healthcabin.net. You can also find them on Facebook and on Instagram. Leave a link down below. I picked, They sell this over there on uh, healthcabin.net for $38.99. This is a 160 watt box mod. Does temperature control all your nickels? It does uh, titanium and also does stainless steel. It also has a uh, mech mode where you can change this over and put it into and to make it work like a mechanical, even though it's uh, regulated. Um, you can also it has what they call a PTC, which we'll go over when we dive down. Um, very very lightweight, even with without batteries, it weighs 65 grams. I have tanks that weigh that much. But when you put the batteries in and this, I mean, it's still probably one of my lightest mods altogether. It's an amazing mod. I mean, and it fits comfortable in your hand. Um, I know it's been reviewed quite a few different times by a bunch of different ones here, but this is my spin onto it. Why don't we get up close with it? We'll dive down low. So go grab a vape and a drink and meet me down there. All right, so here we are down below here. And this is the way that it comes into the box here, like this here. And it tells you that it says Yoast to here. And then it says Live Pour 160 here. And it's probably not going to pick it up because of the light. And then down here has their website, theyoastatech.com. And then over here just says Live Pour 160, Yosta, Live Pour 160, Yosta. On the back side here has a little bit of, uh, about the, the Live Pour. 160 VTC has six different modes for your watts and whatnot. Uh, standard configuration tells you that it has uh, 160 uh, the Liveport 160 device inside, one USB cable, one US user manual, and one warranty card. Keep out of reach of children. There's your QR code, and then here's the colors that it does come in: white, black, Tiffany blue, and red. And then for more information of Yosta products, then go to the Yostatech.com and then it has all the little things there. So open up the box. Let's get this out of the way. Here is your device. We'll take a look at that in a second. Let's see what else is inside the box. You get a USB charging only, because this is only charging, not there's no uh, upgrading onto it. You also get a warranty card, user manual. Let's take a look at the mod here. Um, up top here, you got a. It's a different. It is a 510, but it's a different style. It's actually a pin style, but it is spring loaded, and it's relatively stiff. And everything I've put onto here has gone down very nice. Um, it's worked very, very well. So I do like that spring into there, like that here. It is 93 and a half inches, uh, 93 and a half millimeters from top to bottom. It is 53 and a half millimeters from front to back, and it is 25 millimeters going across this way here. Um, this does come in like I showed you: the white, the black, the red, and they uh, also have a uh, Tiffany blue. Um, what else? This will go from 1 watt to 60 watts. It has six different modes, like I had said. You got your wattage, your mech, your uh, mechanical temperature, nickel, titanium, st uh, stainless steel, and what they have is what they call is a PTC, which is going to be like a TCR. You can go from uh, resistant range from 0 0.06 all the way up to 3 ohms. Your temperature range, you can go from 100 to 300 Celsius. 200 to 600 Fahrenheit. Look at the screen here. You got a lot of venting here and here, here and here on the bottom, and right there where their logo is, it also does the same thing. Like I said, we've gone over the 510. You got your fire button, you got your OLED screen, you got your minus and plus, and you finish off the happy face. You got your USB for charging only, no upgrading onto that. Um, put the batteries in, very simple. You slide this off. And it's very tight. Um, I know there's been other ones that have reviewed it and said there was problems with the door. I'm having absolutely no problems with the door. Um, so let's throw a couple batteries into here. And then we'll go over some of the the modes. we got some 25Rs here. And your first one, it tells you that it says negative and positive. 
and then this one says positive negative and what you do it tells you that it says live poor all right let's take a look at the screen here and as you see there's the battery indicator there on top it has your ohms then your volts and your amps and then your watts you can go on your watts from all the way up to 160 as you can see it goes into one ohm uh, one watt increments and if you hit the plus again it will round robin all the way through to one watt and then you can go in the point ones until you get up to 100 watts and once you get into it once you hit 100 watts that's when it changes over to um one watt increments as you'll see right there see that and then so if you want to get into the menu click this here three times one two three and then it shows wattage mode temp nickel titanium stainless steel Addy lock you would do that when you want to lock the ohms on your for your atomizer your mechanical a mech mode is when you want to change this over to make this turn this into a, a mech mod so it'll fire like a mech mod and then you have your back to your wattage mode which is what we're at right now now when you want to get into like your uh, TCRs and whatnot you would hit this here two times one two and then there's your PTC so if you hit this it says none I can get it to none and then here where memory one where you wouldn't when you hit this here if you were to stick it for the uh, plus 30 watts if you were to set this at 60 watts that would set that up to hit it at 90 watts and you can go to your seconds you're gonna have a hit for one second if you want you hit that again and then you can go to your next mode two and three and then you can adjust your time for how long you want it to hit And then you can adjust that as well there and then once you get back once you have your where you're in your PTCs and you have everything that you want to have done there you just hit your thing there you'll say none you're going to hit your power button and it's going to bring you back to your actual display where you're back to your regular screen for your watch your ohms your volts and your amps and your battery so let's throw an uh, atomizer onto here let's uh, throw this uh, aim 9 by AS vape Let's throw that under there. This is a 25 millimeter. This is the one I've been rocking for the last week and a half. It just, just feels right. So that looks sweet on there. Everything lines up so nice onto this here for the front all the way through. I just like the looks of it when an atomizer sits on there straight like that. It just looks like it was meant for that mod. Very, very nice. Let me throw some juice onto this and we'll take it back up on top. We're going to use some of this uh, Tranquility from the Zen Vapor. I just did a review on to it. Awesome, awesome juice. It's a nice uh, salted caramel custard. This ohms out to be... Zero point one two on the ohms. I can see if I can get it to focus in there. Focus there now, son. Zero point one two at a hundred watts. So let's take a rip onto it. Take it back up on top. All right. So here we are. Welcome back up on top. Um. So again, we took a look at the Live Pour one hundred and sixty by Yostatech. What do you think of it? I have a lot of positives onto this. One thing I didn't show onto there is how to, like if you wanted to lock the screen, if you want to flip the screen, or if you want to go into stealth mode. If you were to take your fire and your negative, and you hold those two together, it's going to bring you up to a screen. And it'll say stealth. Rotation, if you hit rotation, it's going to flip the screen over to the opposite way, and then it's going to say display and what you do you're back to where you want it to be if you were to go hold it again and now you're in stealth mode it'll fire but no screen hold it again now you're on rotation it 
and now you're back to your screen just like you should so I wanted to show you that I just didn't show you that down below um, <clears throat> like I said $38.99 over at healthcabin.net I like everything about this here I really do I like the lightness of it there's no rattle everything is nice and tight it feels comfortable in your hand even though this is so light it doesn't feel cheap that's a positive um, I like all the venting onto it. I like the display onto it. There's, I like everything about it. The only thing I wish it did have is uh, firmware upgrades, which it doesn't have. But other than that, for, for less than 40 bucks, you got a hell of a device. Again, where I got this from is healthcabin.net, www.healthcabin.net. The links will be down below. That's going to do it for tonight, folks. So until the next time. Keep vaping.